We're talking about everything we know about Nezarek today, March 10th, 2023, before Weekly Reset. I specify that because today the Root of Nightmares raid drops, the new Lightfall raid. And if, if Nezarek is the boss of that, which is seeming like is what's being hinted at, then there's going to be a ton of new lore coming out, and we will cover that in a different video. Before we knew about Disciples, before learning who the Witness was, hell, even before we knew what the Traveler was, humanity knew about Nezarek. And we know that thanks to this nifty little warlock helmet, Nezarek Sin, and its lore tab. He is that witch's end, that which covets sin, the final god of pain, the purest light, the darkest hour, and he shall rise again. When the guiding shine fades and all seems lost, he will call to you. Fear not, all he offers is not as dark as it may seem. For Nezarek is no demon, but a fiend, arch and vile, in ways unknown. He is a path and a way, one of many. And his sin, so wicked, so divine, is that he will never cower when dusk does fall, but stand vigilant as old stars die and new light blinks its first upon this fetid eternity. Passage from Of Hated Nezarek The flavor text here even specifies that this Of Hated Nezarek is a pre-Golden Age text. The Golden Age that started when the Traveler arrived, making Nezarek a power that's been here longer than any other. And that makes it all the more odd that this is the only reference to Nezarek that we have had up until last year. For almost our entire Destiny careers, Nezarek's sort of been this mythical, fictional boogeyman. He sounds bad and evil, but the only thing we knew about him was a small snippet of lore and claims of tombs of Nezarek, Drifter saying he's been to the fourth tomb during his travels. All that's until Season of the Haunted, where we got this new glaive called Nezarek's Whisper with the flavor text, Rise, Disciple, and bear this gift with pride. Rolk, Disciple of the Witness. The implication here being that this glaive was once Nezarek's, gifted to him by Rolk when Nezarek became a disciple. Even more new information to us, not only validating Nezarek actually existed, but tying him to our most terrifying enemy, the Witness. And the deeper lore on this glaive describes Eris finding it, just laying by itself in a vast, cavernous chamber inside the Lunar Pyramid, leading us to believe this pyramid was once Nezarek's, like the one in Savathun's throne world was Rolk's, abandoned at some point long ago. Sort of more confirmation for this comes from the season finale, where we battle Callus in the very room Eris describes. The room referred to as the Chantry of the Darkest Hour, calling back to Nezarek's sin lore referring to him as the final god of pain, the purest light, the darkest hour. In the next season, Season of Plunder, we hunt down these relics that we later find out contain pieces of Nezarek himself. Centuries ago, the Elixni found his corpse inside the Lunar Pyramid, radiating with power, and they divided it and distributed it amongst themselves. But the power of these relics radiated was a dark, corrupting power, eventually leading to the relics being discarded and lost the time to prevent the pain and suffering they were causing. A few small other tidbits from this season, Ido scoured the archives and discovered a reference to the Curse of Nezarak, which was said to drain life, but to what end, we don't know. We also learned the Lunar Pyramid was part of the original Collapse of Darkness' attack on Earth, and it was repelled by the Traveler, smashed into the moon. In this season's exotic fusion rifle, Delicate Tomb, is a weapon containing a piece of Nezarek inside, and its exotic perk, Traitor's Vessel, which just the name of the perk alone pushed the community to assume that Nezarek had betrayed the Witness somehow, even though we, we don't know how, and we don't know if it was even the Witness that was betrayed. And that's everything we knew about Nezarek until Lightfall dropped last week. Throughout the new Strike Hypernet Current, while we're in the Vex network, we hear this disturbing voice, and at the very end, we hear this. Prison. Nezarek, seemingly trapped inside the Vex network. How? Why? We we don't know. And throughout Neomuna, you can hear these unintelligible whispers, but if you have Nezarek Sin, Nezarek's Whisper, or Delicate Tomb equipped, you can hear Nezarek talking. Different tormentors throughout the campaign are referred to as the imprint of Nezarek. And the power of the Lunar Pyramid was always heavily associated with nightmares, as seen in Shadowkeep and Season of the Haunted, so it only makes sense that these nightmares are a power of Nezarek's as the pyramid was his, and this is even more evident because the citizens of Neomuna have lately been plagued by nightmares associated with his name. 
all these little clues have been building up for months and escalating so quickly in just the last week, I imagine we will be seeing Nezarek very soon. Almost certainly the new raid boss, as the raid is called Root of Nightmares. I mean, come on. But as soon as we do see him, I'll let you know everything we learn. So, like, comment, sub down below. I'm sure we'll be talking soon.